Federal Executive Council don't approve 19.3 billion Naira for road projects for Kanu, Oyo and for FCT. And Senate now don't task Obonge government to put money for NACA. Nigerian Army don't release 983 suspects where they say they don't clear now say they know be Boko Haram terrorists. And some group, some group of people march enter National Assembly to protest make them come out the social media and hate speech bill. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazobia Max TV. This is now as it take happen. My name is Adate Obunkwe. On top of the first story where we carry come, the Federal Executive Council now don't approve a 19.352 billion naira for the construction of road projects for Federal Capital Territory, Oyo and for Kanu State. Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, now he and this one gives state house to read people after the meeting for inside Abuja on Wednesday. The minister talks in the second talk paper where we say they bring now for the three roads for inside there Iboho, Oloko, Agbonle, Awede, or your state, and Gulu to Yaba town between the Federal Capital Territory and the Niger state, plus including Sharade to Madobi and Dambore for inside Kano state. He say FEC approved those roads now for 7.249 billion naira for the first one for Oyo and 7.5. 93 billion naira for the second one for inside the Niger and the FCT, then 4.510 billion naira for the third one for Kano. Him still yan say the council also approved 523 million naira for the completion of Efalae and Erimo Iwaraje Road, where B say link Ekiti and Oshun State, where B say they award since 2009 and it remained like 85% to complete them. And we come out from inside that we enter the next one. Inside the National Assembly now, Senate don't advise the Bunge government to make them make sure say they pump money inside the National Agency for the control of AIDS, that's Nanaka, so that they go fit fight and control how HIV and AIDS they spread inside the country. Then see they use the opportunity now they tell country people, say I beg made them stop to the maltreat or forbid people where be say that they live with HIV. The Senate can advise every person now to make them go do HIV tests to confirm the state of their body. This is now waiting the incident here about on top of World Eight Day Matter, where BC Senator Chukuka Utazi been sponsored. Senator Utazi will bring the matter through others 42 and 52 of Senate standing rules. It talks that out of 1.9 million people where BC get HIV for inside Nigeria, now only more than 1 million people they collect treatment to suppress the disease. This Senate satisfied that NICE reports showed that HIV prevalence in the country dropped from 2.8% to 1.4% amongst adults aged 15 to 49 years, a feat which Nigeria is presently well applauded and with a population of 1.9 million people living with HIV in Nigeria. Over a million of the above figure are currently assessing treatment to achieve viral suppression. This is a concern that with the appreciable control of this epidemic and the increasing expectation of further shrinking is the naked, is the naked truth is the naked truth that the usual funding from foreign donors will equally shrink, leaving Nigeria to battle 37 over 37. In funding, the, in funding the management and care of people living with HIV and therefore necessitates putting in place mechanism to ensure that resources are available for continuity. And still on top of the matter, as they yearn the worry on top, how the country fits sustain fight against HIV infection and control for inside Nigeria. Other lawmakers now come to talk for situation where BC organization where they give money to fight the disease come withdraw their money. Say anyhow we be, private sectors go help federal and the state government to raise money where they need to take fight HIV and AIDS virus. At this time, uh, when the news broke in those days, government found it very difficult because the drugs were very expensive. Now, a lot of these drugs have been subsidized. You know, NACA that came on board in Nigeria, you know, a lot of, you know, international donors came, you know, um, USAID, WHO, UNICEF, all of them made contributions to Nigeria. And the government at that time, too, was very serious because the disease was ravaging 
our populace. So I still believe that governments too must still, you know, continually fund, you know, funding so that we don't have a relapse of the disease, so that our people don't get infected. Still as the matter be, the Senate to come call on private sector now inside the country to make them collaborate with Ogbonge government to bring out money to give HIV and AIDS technical knockout. And for inside the next story, where we carry come. As the matter be now, Senator Dilo, Dino Melaye, he they worry now, sake of say, election joint body that na INEC never see take any position on top of the letter of complaint where be saying go submit to give INEC for November 20th of this month. Senator Milaya voice out in concern on top of this matter for inside INEC headquarters for inside Abuja. When he been to submit another complaint letter carry give INEC with more proof now to show say plenty will, will be happen for the rerun of the election where Shelle for inside Kogi West Senatorial District. Senator Melaye now can talk say if INEC know the level of Magomago and Katakata will be happen for the election, they no go call for another election on the 30th of this month. In second, they talk say the 90 day deadline where BCA courts give to conduct the by election for the Kogi West Senatorial District say it don't expire on the 20th of this month. Senator Melaye now can they tell INEC say if they want really show say that they independent, may they sharply shift the Saturday supplementary election, or may they add all those polling centers then where BC fights been happen for inside the November 16th supplementary election. All these cancelled areas by INEC did not reflect in the areas where supplementary election is supposedly to take place on Saturday. So we are saying that how can INEC cancel places during the collation and election and they will now be absent among the areas stipulated for the supplementary election. And another very fundamental error is that Coco quarter, Coco quarters in Aetoru Ward 1 was listed under Egbeda Ega Ward. I mean, I cannot understand that. And I want to say that all these infractions put together shows that INEC must, as a matter of national urgency and transparency, postpone the Saturday election until all these corrections are made. And still on top of the matter, we hear say before he submit the letter, say security people for INEC no be allowed them to enter INEC headquarters. And we shall probably come up from inside that to re enter the next one. Now, some group of Nigerians now on Wednesday be March enter National Assembly as they demand the same lawmakers now come out the social media and hate speech bill. Talk talk person for inside the group will be uh, DG Adeyonju. He talk say for section 24 of Cyber Crime Act of 2015. Say he already captured the law where he say he go guide all the bills. Him consider talks he made Nigerians now stand against all these bills because according by him, he say government now don't carry this matter go too far. Whether we like it or not, we are faced with two obnoxious bills, the social, the anti-social media bill and the hate speech bill. These bills are completely out of place. They have no place in a democracy. And whether anybody likes it or not, this is taking tyranny to the next level. Yes. And Nigerians must condemn it. Nigerians must not condone it. Yes. These bills have no place in our laws, in our nation. Because the Cybercrime Act of 2015 has already aptly, you know, captured the provisions of these bills in its entirety. That the social media bill and the hate speech bill, you know, ought to capture. So we believe that it's, a, it's an overreach and an overkill. And that this will only land the country in deep troubles. And that is the reason why we are gathered here to protest and ask that these two obnoxious bills be shut down by the Ninth Senate. As in see the yarn for their income, the front face on top of the statement where B say Senate President Ahmed Lawambi make way and say they go sharply approve every bill where B say President Mamadou Bari carry come National Assembly. At the end, you can the yarn and say this one now. You can show say the Senate now be, say then just day like that. Say the Ninth Assembly now rubber stamp legislative arm of government. That one now say they just stamp stamp anything where B say they carry come give them. Unfortunately for the Ninth Senate, the Ninth Senate. Senate has a very bad image, an image of a rubber stamp legislature, an image that is further, 
you know, uh, impugned upon by the statements of Senator Amelawa when he said, and I quote, that whatever the president wants, hmm. the National Assembly will graciously grant him such prayers. Hmm. Such a statement has no place in a constitutional democracy where, there, where, where there's clear separation of powers. Hmm. The National Assembly is an independent arm of government. It should not be a department in the presidential villa. And at that one, go carry us come out, enter the next story where we get. The Nigerian army now don't release 983 suspects where BC they don't clear now, say they know be Boko Haram terrorists. The theater commander on top of Operation Lafi Adole will be Major General Olushego Adeni. Now he hand them over, carry the Borno State Governor, Baba Ghana Umar Zulum. For one ceremony where BC then do for inside Medudri on Wednesday. And then he talks it and release them now, sick of the torch lighting where BC they don't do for months. Where BC over 900 out of those people where they deal with them for the military detention center for inside there, say they did innocent. Governor Zulu now can the hear military people for the release. Can't give assurance, say these people where BC they release now, say they go receive better treatment and care before they meet with their families. And as it be so, the International Committee of a Red Cross, that now ICRC, recently talks to 22,000 people now don't disappear since 2009, where it be said they don't know where they are, as a plenty crisis enter Northeast Nigeria. According to ICRC, the number of people where it be said they miss, now the highest number of inside their register with the organization for any country. And we come out from inside that story, go the next one. On top matter of support for the development of Nigerian career women for, insect, for social, economic, and political integration and the development of the country. One group under Nigerian professional working women, that's now NPWW, they, they hold their second annual convention today for inside Abuja. According to the person we find the NPWWAB engineer Adenike Iyola, she talks say the main thing where we say the group now they do now to empower Nigerian professional women through plenty of support that they give them, and they say time don't reach now for women to come together, support each other, just as she they called government for all level to provide better environment for Nigerian women to progress. She we are with Wazobia Max TV. Now for women NGOs, it's getting difficult to get support from government. We are not about taking the government work, we are just helping to do at least 5% from their work where they can reach. We are trying to reach them on their behalf. So they should try as much as possible to make sure that they have at least small budgets for women organizations so that they can do more in the field for women causes. Now, Douglas will be able to repress in here with the guest speaker for inside the program, Barista Anona Ifunaya. And they talk about the Wahala where B say they stop the social and economic growth of women for inside the country, just as she brings out the solutions. The challenge is to say some of them know they're very well educated. Those ones where they're educated. Even sometimes when you go, you go someplace, go find what they go, tell you say, you be woman, say you don't know, forget that. So now this is the challenge. The stereotype, they too much. So I go like, as person where they advocate for women empowerment, make them bring some, some stereotype where they meet women, where they stop them from doing what they want to be. And the title of the 2019 Convention of the Nigerian Professional Working Women, now to reposition Nigerian women for big impact to build new and peaceful Nigeria. My people, will they come back with business and sports story? No go anywhere. <music> And for inside the business, the country border where BC they close since. Nine people now don't the links in and waiting the make price of things to the rise currently to 11.61% as of October 2019. Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning will be Zainab Ahmed. She and give to real people for State House after the Federal Executive Council meeting for inside Abuja. She said they have noticed the recent figures from the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics that now NBS since September. She still and said the discussion where BC then gets with neighboring countries them. On top of the border closure, he don't advance and say federal government now they expect every neighboring country to respect the law where BC all of them don't commit to. She comes to talk say government now they make sure say economy no go suffer once they start the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement.
That's now our business story. Make we look waiting day for sports. And for inside sports, we hear say the Nigerian Football Federation don't query Super Eagles head coach, that's now Oga Genot Raw. Sake of saying him they break the team where he say they inside the contract when he signed with uh, the soccer house. Technical director of NFF, that's now Beatrice Bewe Be Rang, he talks say Raw now must explain the reason where he say they make and discuss information when they in contract carry give media. He still here and say waiting Raw they do now, they against the spirit and letter of in contract and in relationship with the football ruling body. If see can talk, say your girl run now, know they respect in contract and the code of conduct for coaches and say all the information where be saying they give out now to generate negative reports about NFF and Nigeria for the public space. Now all the to read them with this as it take happen, but before we go, make we still look all our top to read them again for this afternoon. Federal Executive Council don't approve 19.3 billion naira for road projects for Kanu, Oyo, and FCT. And the Senate don't tax Obonge government now to put money for NACA. Nigeria Nami don't release 983 suspects where them don't clear say they no be Boko Haram terrorists. And some group of people don't manage International Assembly to protest made them come out the social media and hate speech bill. Now all the Tory them be this as it take happen and now still for Wazobia Max TV nine we day inside. My name now Adate Onkwe. Good afternoon. To enjoy more of this our Ubonge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.